Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics, we back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you, and today we are going to be installing the Real Life Mod 2 script, alright? Now, um, this will be an updated video, I have already made a video on installing Real Life Mod, but all in the comments, I can understand people are confused about what is Real Life Mod, okay? Um, let's go ahead and scroll down to the description, alright? So, the link that will be down in my description of this video will lead you right here to the Real Life Mod download page, okay? Once you get to here, you want to scroll down and read the description, okay? I can't um, enforce that enough for, uh, you know, it's it has a bunch of information in here and it lets everybody know exactly what this script does. Um, it does not give you cars. It does not give you jobs. It, it, it doesn't do all that sweet stuff that we see Steve the Gamer do and everything like that, okay? Um, you pretty much have to install all those cars and jobs and whatever other little things you want. You have to install that individually, okay? Um, this real life mod does not do all the real life mod stuff that we see in videos, all right? So I encourage everybody always to read the description of the mod script before you download it. Once you're done reading the description, you want to come over here where it says beta 2 current. Then you want to select this little green arrow right here. All right. Once you select that green arrow, then you will be able to download it. All right. Now let's go ahead and jump into the requirements for real life mod 2. Let's go ahead and go to this link that will lead you to script hook V. This one, you want to scroll down and select the download link that says download by itself in order to download script hook V. Then the next link will lead you to uh, the community scripthookv.net page, okay? You want to scroll down, read the description first, and then you want to come right here where it says 3.0.2 current. And you want to download right here at the green arrow. Once you click this green arrow, it's going to lead you to another page that will be a GitHub's page for scripthookv.net releases, all right? The very top one will be the latest release. This is the one that you want to download, um, is scripthookv.net v3.0.2. Once you scroll down a little bit underneath, you will see scripthookv.net.zip. You want to select this one in order to download it, all right? Last but not least, the next link will lead you to Native UI's download page, okay? Um, you want to scroll down till you see this download 1.9.1 and download it by selecting this link, all right? So once you are all done downloading all of those links right there, it should look something like this. On my left-hand side, I have an empty folder with all the downloads that we just downloaded. The first one I have is Native UI, Real Life Mods 2, Scripthook V, and Scripthookv.net, all right? And on my right hand side, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up. Okay. Now, what we want to do first is um, we want to have a folder named scripts. Okay. If you do not have a folder named scripts, then create a new folder and name it scripts. All right. Once you have that folder created, go ahead and open up your scripts folder. All right. Let's go back over to our downloads. Now let's go ahead and start off with the first folder, which is native UI. Open up your native UI folder. There's going to be two files inside. What you want to do is grab the first one, which is native UI.dll. You want to select this first one I've highlighted, drag and drop it into your scripts folder. All right. Now let's uh, go back to our downloads. Next up, we are going to install Real Life Mod 2. Okay, so open up the Real Life Mod 2. Inside that folder is going to be two files. We are going to drag and drop both files right here into our scripts folder. All right, just like so. Now, while we're here in our script folder, I want to point out something to you right here inside of the Real Life Mod 2 configuration settings file. If we double click on that, Another window will open up where we could adjust uh, certain things. All right, now this this one thing that I want to point out right here is the first person no hood while aiming. Okay, um, 
this is going to automatically put us in first person throughout the whole thing okay if you want to change it then you know all you have to do is highlight it and change it to false okay but whatever changes that you want to make in here after you're done making those changes go ahead and click file and save okay all right now that we have went over that let's go ahead and select gta 5 at the top now bring us back to the grand theft auto 5 directory let's go back over to our downloads click back now let's open up script hook v open up the script hook v folder inside that folder will be another folder that says bin open up the bin folder now we are going to take the very first file and the last file you want to take these two files i have highlighted drag and drop them both into your grand theft auto 5 directory now let's go back to our downloads by selecting back back again now let's install the script hook v.net open up that folder the script hook v.net inside that folder will be two text documents and a couple of files we are only going to need these three files i have highlighted so take a good look make sure that you take these three files i have highlighted i'm going to drag and drop those three into our grand theft auto 5 directory all right now that that's all done we could go ahead and minimize any other windows that we have open and run the game you see my face amigo re fucking remember it i'm your goddamn boss all right when you spawn into the game um you're all you're gonna be in um first person mode and you won't be able to switch out of it all right um, this script doesn't do much and like I said um, if you really want to know what it does you really gonna have to read that description on the download page all right I can't stress that enough right there okay um, let me try to let's see let's go down to the police station and stuff like that but this doesn't give you any cars it doesn't give you any jobs to do or nothing okay doesn't really uh, do too much but just puts you in first person mode and it does a couple other things but you have to really check out the description to really know you know Shit. those things that it does okay as you can see they already are after me I don't even have a gun out <laughs> all right they still chase me too so um, it looked like if you uh, break the law or something like that by doing something simple <laughs> like I did, I guess I just bent the corner too much and they'll be after you, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, like I said, there's really nothing too much to show you. Let me go ahead and steal this. All right, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, excuse me, people. <laughs> But uh, like I was saying, it doesn't do much or nothing like that. Uh, it doesn't come with the menu or nothing like that also, okay? Now let me go ahead and show you uh, how to get out of first person, okay? This is how you get out of first person. You want to go ahead and bring up your GTA 5 directory. I have mine right here. Go inside the scripts folder. And remember the real life mod 2 configuration setting I was talking about earlier. You want to select that one. So we're just going to have to do this individually like this, all right? Change it to false, all right? I'm going to change all of them to false. You can feel free to change whichever ones you want, but I don't like to be stuck in first person all the time. All right, false, motorbike, false, and false and helicopter <laughs> probably won't be in the helicopter but anyway we'll put false just in case all right so first person no hood while aiming uh, i'm gonna leave that alone only thing i changed was first person camera only all right i changed all these to false and then i'm going to select file click save and after you make a change to the any while the game is running just press insert on the keyboard and that'll automatically reset everything okay and you could change, uh, let's see. Let's see if we get out the car with it. So you're gonna have to go ahead and restart the game in order to get out of this, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and restart the game. I'll see you when we come back. All right, 
And as you can see, when we uh, load, when we turned off the game and loaded it back in, we are out of um, first person. Okay, we still have a uh, real life mod installed. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my game files just to show you that we still have it installed. All right, this is my uh, game directory inside my scripts folder, and as you can see, I still have the real life mod installed right here. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much it, the tutorial on real life mods. I just want to clear up when you install this one script, it doesn't install uh, cars and, and clothes and things like that. You know what I mean? You have to really read the description to really understand what it does, okay? So if you want to install any type of real life mods like cars and clothes and things of that type of nature, this is what you want to do. You want to come over right here to uh, my page right here. This is my games and graphics page right here. If you're already watching this video, just go ahead to my channel and check out my videos. All of my videos are tutorials on GTA 5 mods and different scripts and mods that you can install, okay? So go ahead and check that out. And also, if you uh, click on playlist, I also have a mod tutorial playlist also in my playlist, okay? Click on created playlist and you will see a whole full playlist right here of my tutorials all right it's about 188 videos <laughs> so i'll be making uh, updates to all these videos as well but feel free to go and check those out so you could um, install some real life mods like cars or characters or, or houses mansions whatever you want i have made a tutorial on it all right so make sure you check out my page y'all but I'm going to end the video right here. This helped y'all out to uh, understand real life mods better. If you're new to the modding world, then go ahead and smash that like button for your boy. And uh, also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, share the video with your friends that are in the modding GTA 5, y'all. This is Games and Graphics. Me and uh, Plain Frank. You know, he ain't big baller right now. We kind of playing. But uh, me and Frank, we out of here till next time, y'all. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.